Hi, welcome to Artisan Quick Tips with Jennifer. I'm Jennifer Wise, and I'm going to tell you about layering in Artisan digital scrapbooking software. Um, first, I want to give you a chance, if you don't know anything about Artisan, if you're brand new to Artisan, here are a few fast facts about it that I would like to give you a chance to familiarize yourself with. So if you're new to Artisan, please just pause this recording and read over the facts. At the bottom, you will see <clears throat> my um, email. You're welcome to shoot me questions that way and my website where you can buy Artisan if you don't already have it. So speaking of Artisan, let's go there. So I have pulled up for you a plain background and one photo. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about layering in Artisan. I've chosen um, some Christmas embellishments from the rustic Christmas bundle that we could layer on top of the photo and behind it. <clears throat> so let me show you how that works. So let's bring over, why don't we do Holly and Jolly? We'll bring that over here. And because I'm putting it on the page after I've put the photo on the page, it's going to go on top, okay? That's the layering that's automatically established. So let's scroll down and see what else we have here. Uh, what if we put a snowflake over here behind the photo? So again, because I put it on after the photo, it'll automatically show up in front of it. But let's say that I would like for it to just be behind. We'll angle it a little bit. So what I need to do now in order to send it behind the other layers is I right click and then I come down and select order. Now, if I select move to the back, it will go behind everything on this page and we actually won't see it. I just wanna move it back one layer, not behind everything, but back one layer. So I'm gonna click move back. Now it looks like it didn't do anything, but what it really did was it moved it behind the most recent layer that I put on, which was Holly and Jolly. So that means I need to do that just one more time now to send it behind the photo. So I wanna move back again, and there we go. So again, I can you know rotate and move that around or whatever I'd like to do. Put it over to the side, I could bring it over here or whatever. So again, as I click and drag, um, it keeps track of the order in which I put it on the page. So if I would like to, this to go on, on the front, then I don't have to do anything. It will already do that. But if I want it to go behind, then I need to right click, order, and move back. Now, you probably saw on there that there are options to move them to the front as well. So let's say I changed my mind and I don't want Holly and Dolly. So I click on it and I hit the delete button on my computer and I decide I'd rather put the snowflake in front. So now I've clicked the snowflake, I right click, select order and move forward. Now I could just move it to the front because it can be on top of all the other layers. It could be on top of this layer if I wanted because they're not touching and it doesn't make any difference. But um, anyway, so that is how layering works. And it's kind of a fun thing because you can do a lot of um, different, you know, looks. Let's say I put the Christmas lights here and I want all three of these things now to be in front of the Christmas lights. I can actually click this one, hold down the shift button on my computer, select the photo and the snowflake. Oops, I selected the background too. <clears throat> pine cone, photo, snowflake, and I can now right click and order all of that to come forward in front of those Christmas lights. So that's a really great um, feature, something that you can do in Artisan to give some depth to your photos and you can do it with papers and photos and embellishments and text boxes and everything else that you can put on your um, page in Artisan. 
If this video was helpful, please like it. Give it the thumbs up on YouTube so that other people can find it more easily. And to find more videos that we'll be posting, that I'll be posting um, about photo organization and artisan and easy ways to um, create photo storybooks, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.